this video is going to be about servicing the transfer case known as the X drive unit. In this day of age, if the transfer case goes bad on the E46, that part in labor is worth more than the entire car is worth. Even though the BMW considered the transfer case to be a lifetime fluid, never changing the transfer case fluid is probably not a good idea. Start by jacking up the car. If doing this at home, recommend to use drive up ramps on level ground on all four wheels to keep the vehicle squared up level. To get access to the transfer case, need to remove the center underbelly splash panel. Using a 16mm wrench, crack loose the drain bolt. Then crack loose and remove the fill bolt to help release the fluid while draining. Now, loosen the drain bolt and drain into a container to observe the aged transfer case fluid. In this case, the fluid is pouring out black. Semi-screw in the drain bolt as we're going to flush out the remaining contaminants in there. So far, the transfer case fluid is one of the dirtiest fluids we drained out of the E46. So we're going to use... Down to fuck one? She's DTF. She's down to fuck, man. P and VG. She wants to fuck, man. Or drivetrain fluid one. Export a DTF one fluid into a special pump tool. The entire core isn't going to empty out into the tool, so this might take a couple of top offs. The fill hole is in a tight spot due to the rear drivetrain cross member, but the best that you can, try to insert the tube into the fill hole and pump in some DTF1 fluid. Unscrew the drain bolt once again to flush out contaminants out of the transfer case. The internals of the transfer case were so dirty it made the new DTF1 fluid pour out almost black. For good measure, gonna repeat the flush one more time. Semi screw back in the drain bolt into the transfer case and pump in some new fluid. Eh, a little more. This time, gonna pump in the full amount of fluid in. Unscrew the drain bolt once again to flush out the rest of the crap that's in the transfer case. And this time, it's draining out clean. Next, use new crush washers for drain bolts and install drain bolt. Also, that would be a good time to replace the old drain plug bolt with a magnetic drain bolt. This will help out act as a filter for the fluid. Once the fluid starts to pour out of the fill hole, the transfer case has achieved the fill mark. Install the new crush washer on the fill bolt and torque down the fill bolt. Although buying snap-on products will suck your bank account dry, quality tools will have better grip to hex bolt and most of the time prevent stupid stuff from happening. Torque down both fill and drain bolts to spec. Use a parts cleaner or brake clean to clean off any residual fluid off the transfer case. And once again, that's all to it to service the transfer case. If you plan to do this service to a more modern BMW, the modern transfer case may only have a fill bolt, which at the location of the fill bolt will make it very hard to suck it out with something unless you want to take extreme measures like taking stuff apart and flipping the transfer case upside down. Later in newer BMW models, you need to tell the transfer case module known as the DTG control unit that the transfer case fluid was serviced and also may need to go into the BTG control unit itself and reset adaptation values of the DTG module. By conspiracy, if you don't reset the DTG values, it may do internal damage to the transfer case. It's up to you to do your homework on your BMW and choose your choice of action. Stay tuned for the next video as we have the opportunity to service the auto transmission fluid due to the vehicle low miles.